suspect Michael Dunn uh, made a comment for them to turn the music down. We heard what it sounded to be like some really weak gunshots. We just heard gunshots at the ga 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 gas station. Opened fire, hitting Jordan more than once. We had shots fired in the parking lot. Um, the person firing has left. It was like pop, 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 pop. And then it stopped for a second and you heard pop, 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 pop. Pleaded not guilty to murder and attempted murder. I thought it was a shotgun. And he goes, you're dead, and he opens his door. My son has never owned a gun. I have never owned a gun. I was in fear for my life. Tonight, day one of the explosive, highly anticipated new Florida case, some are calling the next George Zimmerman trial. 47-year-old Michael Dunn sprayed an SUV with bullets after arguing with four teenage boys inside the red SUV about their loud music. 17-year-old Jordan Davis was shot twice and killed. The shooter insists he shot the teenager in self-defense. Dunn claims he saw a gun inside the SUV and heard them threaten him. Well, last week, I talked to the teenage victim's father who called his son's killer a liar. Nobody harmed a hair, a hair on his head, yet he wants to lie to the, to the viewers and lie to the public and say that he felt threatened. And then you're going to call them a thug. Just because of their music, you're going to call them a thug. You know, you want to violate their civil rights to be Americans and call them thugs just because of the type of music they're listening to. You have to pay for that and you will pay for that. No gun was ever found in the teenager's car. Jury selection began today. Will jurors believe the suspect genuinely feared for his life and was justified in shooting according to Florida's infamous stand your ground law? Remember where we heard that before? And, you know, this suspect certainly didn't help his case. He left the scene, went to a hotel and ordered pizza instead of calling 911. Not to mention sending letters from jail filled with racist comments. What's your take on this case? Give me a holler, 1877JVM says. In a disturbing jailhouse letter, the defendant, Michael Dunn, wrote this. Quote, my fear is that if I get one black on my jury, it will be a mistrial as I am convinced they will be racially biased, end quote. Arriva Martin, attorney. How can vile comments like that affect jury selection, which, by the way, began today? I mean, this is a racially charged case. How, how do they handle jury selection when you've got the defendant saying things like that? Well, I think, Jane, this is just so outrageous that this man would claim that African Americans are incapable of being objective, were incapable of listening to evidence and ruling on what the judge, you know, provides as instructions. It's an outrageous comment, and I think what we're seeing in this case is an outrageous attempt to try to justify cold-blooded murder. Well, uh, Adam Zwickle, criminal defense attorney, I agree that he has said a lot of racist things. That's just one of them. We're going to read more in a second. And, you know, he comes off as this guy, when I watched the entire police interrogation tape, he walks in as if, I'm the good guy by default. They're the bad guys by default. I'm going to tell you that I was scared, and I'm going to waltz right out of here, even though there was no gun in the teenager's vehicle, no stick, because he said either it was a gun, a barrel of a gun, or a stick, no nothing. Well, I can tell you this, Jane, this case is going to hinder upon three factors. The first one started today, and that's jury selection. And you made a very, very interesting point. How are we going to get a fair jury with these kinds of comments and this kind of information out there? Well, I believe you can get a fair jury. And any lawyer worth his salt understands that you win and you lose your case in jury selection. All the defense has to do is find a certain number of people in that particular county who are willing to listen to the evidence and would believe that a person has a right to defend themselves with the use of deadly force so long as they reasonably believed they needed to do that to protect themselves. The second most important issue whoa, whoa, is getting whoa, whoa, this whoa, jury whoa, whoa, to believe... Whoa. I can't just... St I have to stop you there. Rolanda Watts, host Sundays with Rolanda. The idea... You, it seems to be suggesting that... If a middle-aged white man sees a group of teenagers who happen to be African-American and he gets scared, that justifies him shooting them? Are you kidding me? No, not at all. Not wait, at wait, all. That wait. isn't anything they what I said. They didn't have That's a gun. They didn't have a stick. So, Rolanda, I want to get your thoughts on that. They did not have a gun well, that listen, was found, listen, I, Jane. There was nothing that was they found. Did, no, listen, it doesn't mean that there, was there wasn't no, anything look. there. Listen, Rolanda. there was nothing found. There was no evidence. He's going to have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt 
that he was in danger. There is no danger. That is absolutely wrong. If he was wrong. so scared, no, no, no. If he was so afraid, if he was so afraid, if he's that claim fear, why would he approach the car? Not once, but twice. If he's so afraid, Marco, why didn't he drive away? Look, if he's so afraid, why did he shoot at the Jane, car four Jane. times? And when the car is flying off, he shoots four more times in the back of the car, killing a 17-year-old child. 